In this video, I will show you how to wirelessly connect to your Mio Mini Plus's SD card. I will cover how this can be accomplished using Wi-Fi or the Onion OS hotspot feature if Wi-Fi is not available. This makes it so you don't have to remove the SD card every time you want to just add some ROMs or make some slight changes to files. This does require that you are running Onion OS on your device. Because these methods are slower than using an SD card reader, it's best when you're adding just a few ROMs, making changes to files, and not uploading complete libraries. Okay, let's get on with it. Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and I will start with how we connect over Wi-Fi. First, you will need to make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. We will then navigate to Apps, then Tweaks, then Network. Here we can enable different ways to connect. I will be going over these first two options, Samba and HTTP, as they are the easiest to use. SSH, FTP, and Telnet require knowledge of the terminal or extra applications to use. If you know how to use any of these options, feel free to enable and use them. Other than SSH, these connections are not encrypted, and it's only recommended to use them while you are on a Wi-Fi network you trust. If you are going to connect to a public Wi-Fi, I recommend disabling any of these settings if you are not actively using them. So let's start with Samba, which allows you to access your SD card like a network drive on your PC. Once you enable it, you will be given a selection of folders that you can choose what you want to be accessible when you connect. There is also the option at the bottom to have full access to the SD card. If you just need access to your ROMs, you can leave this disabled. However, if you want to access the full structure of the SD card and there's files you need to change, you will want to enable this. Now, once we have those selected, back out one screen and you will see your IP address at the top of this device. On your PC, hit the Windows key plus R to open up the run command. And here you will want to type in two backslashes followed by the IP address shown on your Mio Mini, and then press enter. You will be prompted for credentials. Enter onion, all lowercase, for the username and the password. If you ever forget this, you can hit select on your Mio Mini Plus when hovering over the Samba option, and it will show you the username and password. It may take a moment, but it should open up a file explorer window with all the folders that you had enabled. You can navigate it like you normally would anything else, dragging things in, editing files. You can also pin this connection, and that way you can have it easily accessible on the left-hand side without having to run the run command every time. However, if your device gets given a new IP address from your router, you will need to connect to it again by using the run command and repinning it. All right, that's it for Samba. The next thing we're going to use over Wi-Fi is the Onion OS HTTP web UI. Enable HTTP on the Mio Mini, and you can choose to enable authentication. I would recommend you do this unless you are running into issues logging in or you know you're on your personal secure network. Then on any device with a web browser on the same Wi-Fi network, type in the IP address that shows on your Mio Mini Plus and then hit enter. If you have authentication enabled, it will prompt you for credentials and you will want to type in admin for both the username and the password. You will then be taken to the UI that allows you to navigate your SD card. You can double click on folders to enter them. You can use any of the tools in the top right to delete, download, upload, and other options. And if you'd like, you can go into the options and change the username and password for your next login. Just make sure not to forget them. HTTP access is great for accessing your device from other things on Wi-Fi like phones, tablets, or even other handhelds if you would want to. If you want to connect to your device and you do not have a Wi-Fi network available, here's how you can use the hotspot feature to connect. Select and then enable the Wi-Fi hotspot option, then enable the HTTP option as that is what we will use once we are connected to the hotspot. Now on your phone or other device that has Wi-Fi, go to your Wi-Fi settings and look for the network that has Mio Mini in its name. When you try to connect, enter the password Onion OS Plus, all lowercase, and that's the special character plus. You may be prompted with a notice that there is no internet access and it will ask you if you want to stay connected, say yes. Then open up the browser and type in the IP address that shows on your Mio Mini Plus and you can access the HTTP web UI as we did before. And there you go. 
This is great for when you are not near a computer or Wi-Fi, but do have your phone on you. You can connect this way, edit files, or bring more ROMs over on the fly. That's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more content from Firex Techs. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, thank you for watching.